Okay, so um, like we were saying, uh, let's go over this one. It says predict the products of this reaction by interpreting the flow of electrons as indicated by the curved arrows. So this is the information that the problem gives us. It gives us this structure and it gives us the curly arrows to show us the way that the reaction is proceeding. So this is a mechanism that it's giving you and it just wants you to predict what the products are from what you see um, the arrows are doing. Okay, so any time you see an arrow, that's indicating uh, the making or the breaking of a bond, okay? The movement of electrons, okay? So if you're doing anything around here or up here, right? So everybody look over here, over here, right? You're not um, focusing on the arrows. It's only where the arrows are moving that the molecule is changing, okay? So don't mess with anything else. So what we see here is that this lone pair of electrons here is coming over to make a bond, okay? So instead of having a single bond there, we're gonna have a what? Double, Double bond, okay? But then we see this pair of electrons here, what's happening to that? They're moving over to here, right? So it's What's going to happen to this bond here? Breaking. Right. It's going to be broken. So there's no good, not going to be a bond there anymore. Okay, so don't leave that bond there. This is what almost everybody who got this one wrong was leaving that bond there. This is showing you that it's not going to be there anymore. In fact, these two electrons are going to do what? What are they going to do over here? Make a what? Double, Double bond. So they're not going to be here anymore. They're going to be here. Well, let's just draw this piece of what we see up there, right? So it goes boop, boop, right? So now we have, remember, this is a carbon in the middle. If you want to write it, just write it like that, right? What happened to this oxygen and the double bond? Anything? Nothing, Nothing right? So we just keep it like that, okay? And this oxygen had a single bond, but now it has a double bond, right? So. And then everybody likes to put their lone pair of electrons. That's okay. So let's just keep it with the two lone pair of electrons. Okay, and if you know about carbon dioxide, you know that there's, of course, two lone pairs there. If that, I know a lot of people wanted to put those lone pairs. It's totally fine. And you should probably want to. Okay, so that's one of the products. And what did we say here? These, bond, these electrons in this bond are gonna go down here and make a double bond here, right? And what's that gonna cause this double bond to do? It's not gonna be there anymore, it's gonna do what? Move over to here, okay? So what are we making in here? What is that structure? A benzene ring, right? Okay, that's a very common thing to make. Okay, so oftentimes you want to look for structures that you've seen before, okay? But not only that, what's happening to the water here? The water that's attached to this uh, cyclohexadiene. It's broken. Yeah, that bond is being broken, right? Water's a good leaving group, remember? We talked about that. Those small molecules are good leaving groups. So what are we gonna show by itself over here? Yeah, H2O. Right? Did we add another hydrogen to it? Uh-uh, mm -hmm. so it's not H3O. I know we see that plus and we want to say H3O, no. We're getting rid of that plus charge by adding those electrons to it. That's what's happening, okay? So let's just draw what we just interpreted in English, okay? Remember I always say, this is like reading hieroglyphics, okay? You can translate it into English, but it's much more easy to just draw a picture, okay? So let's do it. We got our carbon dioxide, what else did we say? Water's gonna be broken off. <coughs> so it probably is more obvious for you all to write it like that, and then you might say, okay, the lone pair's there. But I know we all like to say, what, this is organic chemistry, we wanna draw structures. So it'd be preferable to draw it like this. Okay. 
but you draw it either way, I would have been fine with it. And then let's draw this big thing in the middle, okay? What did we do? We just made a benzene ring. Yes. And did we mess with anything over here? Nope. So let's just draw it. So look, nothing happened to the double bond up there, so we just leave it, right? We made a double bond there, and we moved the double bond from here to here. Ta-da. Okay. And we don't mess with anything else. And the last thing, what did we always say, right? If there's a If there's an overall formal charge yes. in the one side, then that same overall formal charge has to be on the other side, right? So what do we have? A minus, a minus, and a plus. So overall, that's negative one, right? So what are we going to have as the formal charge over on the other side? Negative one. Negative one, okay. So if we're not having something like that, then yeah, it's not gonna be correct, okay? okay. Are there any questions about this one? No. Yeah, okay, so just keep this in mind when we're doing this.